Hey everybody, welcome back. We're heading to Yuma County, which is like pff, so far south. We're definitely going to have action along the way. I'd be very shocked if we don't. Uh, can we follow any path there? Down, down, and then we have to find our way around this area. I have to imagine that we are coming up on, like, very close to endgame. Sure, there's a lot that could go down here. Who knows, but... Oh boy. Scar collectors. I haven't seen you yet. So we don't have the survival requirement. We can sneaky shit this. Uh, we have, what, level 5 sneaky with, um, with, uh, Abbott. So, that can kind of help out now that we've removed Quan from the party who had, like, max sneaky shit. And it actually does work kind of nice in the sense that he's also got the lock picking. Um, I might check to see if we have a sneaky shit skill book. But I feel like we probably used it on Quan. I just can't remember. Because we want to save his other points, Abbott's other points, for the new uh, rifle. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Let's check here. Yeah, so his sneaky shit's at five. There is a perk for him at max... Uh, where is it? Max sniper rifles would be nice. Ambush attacks that kill, don't end the ambush. So like here, this would be pretty nice for him to have. That said, let's bring these guys over here. Well, Costello up here. Actually, let's put him even over here. Maluka in. I might put Maluka on this side. Lucia here. Fordite needs a little patch up. Math over on this side. Actually, hold on. I think we want to go rockets here with her. We have the Law, we have the Stinger. I think the Stinger's our best, right? Rise! It's about as good as an opener as we could hope for. Nice. Uh, can I use this to trigger this bomb? No. Or anybody else with stuff? Go for the head here. Do you have the vehicle? Apply an easy stun here, but I think we wait for these guys to approach. Let's uh, jump into this middle area. Beautiful. Look at him already contributing. Very nice. Oh, 
I'll move him over to this side so we can use the full cover for Lucia. Math, come on up. Let's actually take this time to... Let's reload the rockets. We have 24 rockets still. Kind of insane. And then we'll carry forward actions. And we'll ambush here. Ambush here. Actions. And defense. Yeah, frenzy him all you want. You might be able to get here. Yeah, we're going to destroy them. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think I remember having this now. Maybe we did have a waste wolf before. We have 12. Can I see this guy? Oh, just out of range. Beautiful. I love the sound of that gun, man. Okay, we need we need to move up a little closer. Wowzers. We don't really need to drop the uh, the goat cannon anymore. This could be interesting. We've I. How much is this? Uh, eight. So we could move two AP. Yeah. Okay, then. That works. The outcome was never Jeez. Down. That was a slaughter. All right, let's clean up our mess and move on. Oh, the, you know what? The other thing that we don't have is uh is the perception we have to check who we should be leading with now you know that crazy high perception so 13 here two eight and two yeah okay well it's gonna be him that's not nearly as high as kwan's was No susception clamp? What is that? Downtime. Oh, okay. Interesting. You would get like five turns to bring somebody up. That's actually pretty good. I think we're going to put that on, uh, on Costello. We were giving him... He had like that shock thing that he could do, but it was... I don't know. We never got a chance to really use this. Whereas this... This could buy us some necessary breathing room in, like, a really important fight. How close are we here? Oh, we're so close to leveling. Okay. Not bad. Let's go. I was thinking we could potentially uh, remove these extra action points from Abbott and give him, like, some extra perception stuff. I think we would have to go back to Quan, remove the thing, whatever. But it was, I believe it was plus two perception and plus one barter for the stuff that he was wearing. Utility items. 
He actually also had some pretty good armor. We should look at Cordite's armor because, uh, well, we definitely didn't check that. I think in fights, we're definitely at a disadvantage now with Cordite, but see what we can do. Okay. So headgear wise, six. Is we'll take this with the crit resistance. It's got 13 for the chest armor. It's pretty good, actually. It's got six armor here and three evasion for the pants. We take eight. Let's do it. Uh, this is closed, it looks like. Maybe we go up and around? Yeah, here we go. Howdy, Rangers. I got some trouble over here at my ranch. A bunch of freak shows rolled up. Seemed to want something. Not surprised. So I'd be much obliged if you came Knox by. Bison Ranch. We can do that. Gotta help our fellow man. That's like some real men want a bone. Probably talking about steaks. Mutant bison is a huge horned animal as big as a tank and nearly as hard to kill. <laughs> awesome. I don't suppose we could charm that thing, can we? About to find out. Tell you that much. Look at these things. Holy sh... These are all Rangers dead, so whatever killed came. them. We're in dire straits here. Those twisted psychopaths want us all dead. You gotta help us. What's going on? Them crazies were demanding our bison to turn him into weapons of war. Sick fucks wanted to graft machine parts onto them or something. When they started machining them up, the bison fought back. They don't like to be messed with, and they're damn fierce. Bastards had their hands full, for sure. Uh, who are these? What are? Where are the psychopaths? They done camped out at the side door on the right. Won't keep them out long. It's our breeding pen, and most of our bison are in there. They must have noticed us trying to reinforce it and decided it was the best way in. Okay, let's get them. I'll show you the way, but I am done as soon as we see them. <laughs> They're crazy. Follow me. No thank you or anything. The sick bastards are up there. I'll just hang on back while you take care of things. Wouldn't want to get in the way. What if he's setting us up for something? Okay. They're not hostile yet. Ranger, we rangers. What do you want? This has nothing to do with you. It does now. Listen, you're harassing a farming community warranted our intention. Piss off, rangers. You have no say in this matter. We will take what is ours. <sighs> oh, you're kidding me, bro. It's ass 10. Of course. Might not even have worked. Animal Whisper too. Alright. Then you will 
die with them. Hopefully we have the time. This is not the best way to begin an engagement. Hopefully we have the time to uh, get Cordite's kiss ass up there, you know? Go for the head. Oh, not bad. Looks like we hit the arms for some reason. Oh, how the frick? <laughs> We're so far back. We are so far back. A lucky mega crit. The rockets have been working out pretty well for us. I don't love that that's hitting him though. Mm. I think we gotta wait. Okay, what else do we have here? Hold on. Demoralized? Yeah, let's do that. You shaking? You should be. Absolutely. What else we got? Shale Lin Surprise. Rolling attack that penetrates through target's defenses. For every one combo meter built up, provides two armor penetration. Shotgun Gauntlet. Fires his implanted shotgun at an enemy, turning them into fine red mist. Attacking an unarmored target has a 25 crit chance. Hey, this guy is stunned at least. That armor makes it kind of useless. Since we have so much armor, let's go to the uh, energy cell weapons. Something. Oh, there's way more back there too. That demoralize is helping. Good resist. Good. Hardly. Jesus Christ, oh Lucia. God. These guys are going to hurt. Heal here. Come on, party pal. Heal. Jesus. Good. Whoa, what a crit. Okay. You ever? That was sick. And she still has enough to fire this, too. Not bad at all. Let's get a little uh, stim action. God. Come on. See if Cordite can do this. Lots of armor on these dudes. Good shot. Good kill. Oh, that was an absolutely clutch crit.
Looks like he got a free shot there too. Let's go for the guy in the back. Can he do it again? Very damn close. We need 165. I could come up here and only have one shot. There's no way we're getting that. Let's see how they go here. The biggest thing we need to watch out for is this guy's attack. The rest, I think we can handle. Yeah, that opti laser. God damn. Ooh, what happened there? Wonder why he took zero. Maybe just missed or something. Thank you kindly. Go waste wolf. Come on, big boy. There you go. There you go. Good kill. Out of ammo, if you can believe it. Fifty fifty. Uh, we'll take this one then, hopefully. Almost. Okay, we leveled up on Lucia. From here, I can get to that Cyclops. Nice kill. Almost. Beautiful. Oh, he's still up. This guy's still up. Not for long. Cordite handling biz. They're with the vermin. Damn nice job you done there, Rangers. And since you taking care of us, seems only fitting we take care of you. We could send some meat over to your HQ every so often. Sound good? I guess, but what does that matter? Oh, Anna Whisper again! No, thank you, Rangers. Any chance you can clear some vermin off the ranch before they go after one of our bison? I suppose. What's going on with the vermin? Well, all sorts of critters find their way to the bison from time to time, trying for a meal. Now, we usually keep them away, but... With us being occupied lately, some made their way out back to the bison's watering hole. Can you help us clear them out? Yeah. Thanks, Rangers. <laughs> well, of course I we can. We could rely Not like we have other important things to do. Last we saw, they were out on the ice floe out back. We take our bison out there to drink, so those vermin are a bit of a problem. Well, I'll leave you to it and go tend to the bison. Poor girls need some calming down. You come find me when those vermin are dealt with. Okay. We'll do that. Thank you. Let's go strength here. And then uh, probably toaster repair, I guess. We could go automatic weapons. But we don't really have a weapon that needs it yet. We don't need it. We should just hold the toaster. I think we just hold that. For Lucia, we'll go coordination. And I guess we max out small arms, assuming we don't have a book for that. Yeah. We have a small arms perk at 10. Yep. Attacking melee... Enemy on the turn after they hit you deals 50% damage. Sure. That works. 
Oh, we're like pff, 10 XP away from leveling here. What was that one thing we picked up in there? This. Combat speed plus one. Oh, that ain't bad. Gold nugs. Excellent. The aroma of Grant's advise and rises from the pot bubbling over the campfire. Okay, so I guess we are going through here then. This is all targeting. Huh. Oh, we have... Oh, speaking of toasters. Well, guess that... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Traps. Hold up. Is this outside? Okay, that's outside. So we need a level eight on toasters. Well... There we go. Bimetallic gold alloy filament. This gossamer filament flecked with gold would serve as a timer release in a beautiful toaster. <gasps> as you pull the shimmering piece of the now repaired appliance, you realize that you have all the components needed to build a brand new golden toaster. Each piece slots together perfectly, seeming to become an unbroken hole as the mica sheeting wrapped in nichrome wire slides in the casing a spark travels along the bevel as the energy dissipates you can make a block lettering congratulations master toaster repairman you and your toaster are ready for what comes next toaster repair academy and then coordinates what 40 and minus 103 what the f 40 and minus 103 do we have like a how how do i know where that is I guess we'll have to check out on the world map. That's so cool! Oh, it's frogs. Why wouldn't it be? Well, this is level 10 to get here. Maluka just leveled too. Okay, let's go luck. Um, pretty much going into big guns here, guaranteed. So that's good. And perks now. Gain 20% evasion, 10 hit chance, and low cover when using a heavy machine gun. There we go. realize I'm not using the right weapon. That's fine. Go for the head. Uh, we should actually try charming. Very nice. You come beat up his friend. We got the extra actions. Nice. Mastery. What the frick does that mean? That's cool. Let's go uh, defend here. That's so powerful, man. Like, one thing I've been wondering is... Okay, I guess it's because this ammo is, like, super heavy... Or super expensive and goes through a lot of it. But, like, why would I not... Why would I not give everybody... 
uh, sniper rifles and like these heavy weaponry things. The pistols are okay too, but the assault rifles I feel are so underwhelming. Unless I should just be focusing on using only the energy based variants of those. Puts me in a pretty not great position. Oh my god. Oh crap, there's... <laughs> oh, he's gonna die for sure. I didn't realize there were even more out there. Okay, let's go uh, combat speed. This one overwatched. Could have been worse. Okay, we're gonna have to move. Carry these. Uh, no, let's defend. Cordite. I'm gonna take a little heal. I guess that's something. Defend here too. Now that it's done, let's try and hit these others. Holy crap. guy's just whiffing. Okay, so this guy's open now. Let's go for the head. Beautiful. Something so satisfying. Okay, Cordite, come smack smack. This is giving me some decent uh, confidence in terms of, um... oh, look at this. Okay, so maybe had we wanted to, could have come this alternate way. Okay, to the bottom half of the dozer blade is layer upon layer of dried bias dung. I guess you got to do what you got to do. Nugs, excellent. Holy moly, you rangers were. 
work fast. You're damn right. Thank you for clearing out those vermin. We'll be happy to send you the finest of our bison meat to your headquarters. I don't know what that actually means. Like, he's going to send us stuff to our headquarters, but like, sure, I guess. All right, now. Sniper rifles. A baboom. And we read the sniper rifle book. Baboom. And we equip the new sniper rifle. Where is it? We bought it. Where is it? Not the Tundra, the Eliminator. Ammo capacity is a bit lower. Base hit chance is a bit lower. Crit chance is a bit lower. Way higher. Well, higher penetration, higher strike rates. Plus, now we could modify. We have the level 10 here. Crit damage. I'm okay with this. And we'll throw on the, the level 1, but we'll be looking to upgrade that relatively soon. Okay, what do we want now? Let's max out intelligence. So, critical chance is up 25%. Plus, we gain an extra... Do we gain an extra skill point from this? Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Probably go into, like, sneaky shit, I guess. And then we take ambush attacks with the sniper rifle. Don't end the ambush. So, in theory, should be able to pluck off quite a few people. Thanks. Is there anything else in here? I don't want to mess with those. Who's Daryl? Why do we have two people named Daryl? Seven armor modding, which we have, gives uh, crit resist and armor plus two. Howdy, name's Daryl. You uh, met my other brother, Daryl? <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, what? Boss, do we know about this? Where's Larry? He's out back next to the tree. Uh, Larry, he got sick on that cannibal diet, so we went looking for a doc. Couldn't I seem to remember something about a Daryl, Daryl, and Larry. Vet tried, but Larry just got worse. Mom made us brothers promise to always stick together, so when Larry died, we couldn't go back. So, anyway, here we are, working the ranch. Uh, you've been gone a long time, Daryl. Boss Gift wants you back at the Jamboree. No can do, partners. Kind of brother of thy beef, I just up and left brother Larry here. It's fair. I'm just gonna have to tell old Boss Gift that I ain't coming back. Well, bye. Hmm. Vehicle hood ornament. I like that. Cigarette butts. I like that even more. I think it's all clear. Okay. That was a bit of a detour. Interesting one. Let's keep trucking. <laughs> 